Oh, so Rosa <laughs> Rosaria 25 with the look at this golden fox. Look at this <laughs> golden fox. Look at Wait this a crap. second. What happened? What, huh? what happened? You good, my dude? Uh, I'm just seeing what's okay. Um, look at this golden fox. Hold on. I don't have the greatest Photoshop filter. <laughs> I'm using Photoshop. I'm really lazy right now. Okay then. Oh my God. Uh, false alarm. I'm... What happened? Um, let's just say that Riley always tends to try to get to me. What? What did you I did? You could figure it out yourself. I like that Riley just was like, "What did oh I do?" God. Oh my God. <laughs> 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 what that do? What that do? Also, I fucking talking about DBA has put me in a mindset where I just want to rant about more shit that makes me mad. But that's just gonna get the adrenaline pumping more, and then it's gonna be a vicious cycle of ranting over gameplay of Diddy Kong's fucking conquest. Yeah. Diddy's conquest. And, you know, it, it's, like, it, it's not the perfect audio to is like friggin' me ranting about shit I hate isn't the perfect audio for this game. <laughs> I just fucking where am I ever gonna get my goddamn McDonald's? Yes! Oh my god Robin! But okay. Robin? Hi. Listen, motherfucker. Yeah, what's Listen. up? What's up? Oh I Next I, I, time! I, I, Get some fucking snacks when I you're on stream. I should have gotten snacks, but I didn't Next time, that get far some snacks. I just want, I, I didn't eat dinner and I was going to, but then I took a nap before the stream. And oh. so like, oh my the, God. Game, the stream was about to start and I was like, oh no, I gotta go be funny and ha ha goof goof. But I didn't eat food. Uh oh. Get now, some like, snacks. I okay, should have so at the start of the stream, but I didn't. Okay, so I've I've discovered <laughs> I've discovered a new topic of discussion. Something else that really makes me unhappy. Uh, you don't and this grind my gears. Is like this, and this one is less about a specific media and more about a common theme with various forms of media, particularly serious? video games. I'll kiss guys, my ass. You guys no, know when game uh... devs, You guys know when game devs do that thing where they do something and everybody asks questions about that something and their response is just just leave it up to player interpretation. Fuck you. Uh, yeah. There is nothing I hate more yeah. than when devs think that something doesn't need to be explained and instead just like the answer is whatever you want the answer to be. Because That's... then people start arguing. And then people start fights and shit. And then cults are made off of stupid headcanons that couldn't possibly be true. And it's just like, you've made a problem. You've made a problem when there wasn't one. And it's even more irritating when you realize that a really easy fucking way to deal with it is to make something up. Lie. Yeah. Just say a word. And then everyone will be like, oh, okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> just like, just... Don't but, leave it up to player interpretation. But the logic. But no. <laughs> if you were, if you were, if they were given the uh, the ending or the interpretation that was given by the developer, there would be some flame no, wars, no, no, and then people not, are gonna no, be not angry about, about it. That. It's not even like the ending <laughs> of plot lines of games. It's about very no no. It's about very specific instances of even minute information or something that pertains to a specific character. I'll give you an example, right? So, Hollow Knight, one of my favorite games of all time, Jeez. has a character called Hornet. Now, Hornet is a sibling of the main character, but not in the same way that the other entities actually called siblings as siblings. Hornet was born to a different mother than the main character was, and the main character is one of an uncountable number of children to a tree. And they were hollowed out by a substance called the Void. Now, Hornet wasn't, but a lot of people have this strange headcanon that they treat as gospel that Hornet actually is made of Void, <laughs> even though everything about Hornet goes against that entirely. But of course, the devs won't answer the question of whether or not Hornet's made of Void because that's up to player interpretation, you fucking morons! <laughs> Logic? 
what you just explained there is basically... Oh, okay, so I could have gone there the whole time. No, what you just explained to me was the same kind of crap I had when it came to either people arguing about Sombra in Friendship is Magic that, oh, he's supposed to be this mysterious presence, and it doesn't work because he already set him up as a character. And understanding what's threatening about him is allegedly open to interpretation. Same bullshit when it comes to things that are not explained in the show, and people argue that the writers did it on purpose because it's open to interpretation. It's Fuck like, that shit. And I, I'm not saying that leaving it up to interpretation is bad all the time. When you, when you do, I think they call it an ARG, when you make something that's actually an Easter egg hunt for the entire community to solve, different interpretations and theories are fine. But if it's something minute or actually embedded in the story, baked in, something that, you know, is something you're supposed to find out. Oh! It's just like, again, don't put it, don't put yourself in the position for so many people to come to conflicting answers because it creates infighting. And, you know, whether or not you like it when the people who play your game hate each other's guts, it's not good <laughs> for people to fight that much over something that shouldn't matter. I'll give you another example. You guys know the Destiny franchise? Um, Somewhat. Uh, Somewhat, not really. Okay, so basically, in these games, there are currently two, Destiny and Destiny 2. You are a guardian, a fucking, basically, you have space magic, and you're also undead because your ghost, a machine that brought you back to life, can resurrect you after you die. And that's the, re that's the respawn mechanic of the game. But basically, all guardians at this point in the timeline exist in a, well, they go to a place called the last safe city of humanity. Now, bearing in mind the importance of this city as the last safe refuge for an entire fucking species, you'd think there would be a concrete canonical location for the fucking thing. Fuck! But no, the devs said the city is an idea where all of the knights go, is like, meet up in the castle no. to get uh. the quests to go on. And it's just like, it basically and saying it's up your interpretation wherever you want the city to be. And it's just like, hold on. This city does exist. It takes up physical space. It's not a paradoxical non-dimension because an, friggin' enemy factions have in the lore attacked it multiple times. You see an attack take place in game and the very same cat the very same faction from the thing I just mentioned tried to drop a space station designed to destroy stars on the fucking city. So if you ask me, the, sh the city is important enough for us to know where it is so that people stop arguing about it because all I ever get to see when asking the question of where it is because I might want to write something about it because I like yeah. writing things about video games I like. People are saying, yeah. oh, it's in Peru. Oh, it's in Nepal. Oh, it's at the foot of Mount Everest. Oh, it's somewhere between Europe and Russia. You know, Russia, that place that is a part of Europe. Yeah. <sighs> And the thing that makes me angry about that is Bungie could have said anything. They could have said, well, after the Traveler came, the Traveler's a big white ball in the sky that makes everything better, came along and terraformed all the planets in the solar system and, you know, did all the cool shit before the collapse could have happened. The collapse is basically an apocalyptic event. Don't worry too much about it. <gasps> the Traveler could have reshaped Earth <laughs> into any image. And then they could have said, okay, well, after the Traveler reshaped the Earth, the last city was here, where X or Y used to be located, but this is what the geography is like now. Meaning Bungie could have said whatever the fuck they wanted. They could have said it was on the North Pole, it's on the equator, it's on the South Pole, it's in the center of the fucking planet. They could have said anything, but no, the city gets an idea, it doesn't matter where it is. It's been attacked three times and almost destroyed twice. Yeah. It exists in a physical space and is of importance. Anyway, yeah. Golden Fox Drip is the funniest fucking thing I've seen all day. <laughs> I've been literally giggling about this since Galaxy sent it to me. And, uh, like, I didn't want to interrupt the rant, but I was literally just like... <laughs> Fuck you, You're welcome. <laughs> Wait, it's so really like you said in that one review, boo to ambiguity. Thank you! Thank you, Blue Griffin. I was, uh, my brain stopped working for a second there, sorry. But it's just You're like, okay. 
ambiguity is fine when it's important to the story, but yeah. being ambiguous about where the last city is isn't important to the story. Being ambiguous as to whether or not Hornet has void within her, which she can't, no, otherwise she wouldn't be Hornet, isn't important to the story. If it's important to the story that it remain anonymous or ambiguous, fine. But if it's not important, tell me the answer. <laughs> <laughs> because then I can stop thinking about it. <laughs> yeah. But thinking hard. Thinking hard. So I, hard. I, I, I just want to Return I just want to know what the, the fucking thing is so I know where <laughs> everything else is in relation to it. Because I like the idea that I'd be able to keep up a coherent knowledge of where everything on Earth is. Fucking, yeah. I'm not, it's like, I know where Fel Winter's Peak is in Destiny and Destiny 2. It overlooks yeah. an old Russian Cosmodrome, which means Fel Winter Peak is in Russia. Yeah. <sighs> anyway, no think, return to monkey. Fucking no <laughs> thoughts, head singularity right now. Yeah. Head, head empty. Poor logic. No thought, head empty. Is my, my head is so empty that it's negative empty. It's a black hole right now. <laughs> It's a, a fucking man. Amen. Also, I know mm. I get irrationally angry about a lot of things, but I think I that know. like I think okay. that that's I think that that side of me is like it's a performance reflex part of me because it's just like while I am legit angry about a lot of these things, it's not this much. Apart from Dragon Ball Evolution. Everything about Dragon Ball Evolution <laughs> makes me want to violently vomit up every orc and I have and dissect it because Dragon I'm not Dragon Ball angry. Evolution is one of the worst movies ever made. There we go. Exactly. So, uh, apart, like so I... apart from that, a lot of these things don't actually piss me off this much. <laughs> but yeah. I do it like this Logic. because, I don't know, Logic. it makes me feel good. Logic. And also coping mechanism and entertainment yes. for the people around my you. Yeah. My coping mechanisms are being irrationally angry as, I don't know, some kind of performance reflex, and sarcasm. Heavy, heavy sarcasm. Logic. Mm -hmm. Yes. Dragon Ball Evolution is the most disappointing thing since <laughs> my son. <laughs> Talking like fucking red letter media. Zico492 <laughs> for the traveler. Screw the pyramid ships. Fair. Ask wait, Edwin. No, how, how damn it! British? I think that they don't know that logic. What logic's name is? So they're just like, eh, fucking British. Oh, huh? I mean, you are the only hey, British. Wait, person. wait, do they do they think British ninjas here? Maybe either they think because, it's your British oh. ninja, or they think that eh, you're just British. <laughs> That's your identity. Uh, huh? Fucking hell. <laughs> Also, I just, also, I just want to say I've never. I just want to say I've never spoken to British Ninja, but I don't think he sounds like me, or that I sound like him. <laughs> yeah, British. Yeah, I, yeah no, Ninja I'll sounds. His voice is brighter. Okay. Most people I mean, just like, people keep mixing that up because British time, accents but... all sound the same in some uh, some ears, and it's like <sighs> it's actually it's actually really ironic. To the rest of the world, all British people sound the same, but apparently American women get really turned on by British voices. It, it, you know well, what this don't, calls? Don't they all sound the same though? Wouldn't Logic. they be boring? Yes. Do you know what this calls? What? This this calls um this is called um generalization. Where, I know. Where, where Asian women look Holy the same. Uh, <laughs> the game over screen. The game over uh, screen on on fucking that, Diddy's conquest is the hardest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> yes, so it has. <laughs> I'm also, gonna find another time to play this because this is gonna take a while to play through. I'm not gonna give up on this game like I did with Pilot Wings this time because I know that I can have some sense of progress instead of just. Yeah. Yeah. There's actually something going also, on even yeah. though you're kind of getting stuck in one of the levels. Yeah. Yeah. Also, real quick, everyone in the Twitch chat, don't there's like don't worry about it. It doesn't actually bother me that much. Like, yeah. It's just very funny. Like, in, like e fun. even though even though the whole thing about people sounding like other people at this point is you know it's kind of a tired trope. It, like it, uh, you know, yeah. I'm numb. I'm numb now. Yeah. Also, no, Bliss is not here. I mean, oh Galaxy God, thinks that Ri that Riley and I sound alike. So. Oh, shut the fuck <laughs> up, you son of a bitch! If they, it's I really true. won't let it go. Excuse I sound me. nothing like I Riley. Don't, I know that for fucking certain. I, 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 I need, to, I need to understand this. What? 
Riley, uh, Galaxy once called Riley Robin. <laughs> And I will never let them let it down. It's very funny to me. <laughs> Just like I will never let down the sriracha shot. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Thank you, Golden. <laughs> See, the difference between that is, though, is that was like, it's like six years ago. The fucking Riley versus Robin thing was two fucking weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> Not that long ago. Listen, motherfucker. <laughs> Listen here, motherfucker. <laughs> Give me my goddamn McDonald's. <laughs>